Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace the jockey wheels in this Hoover tumble dryer. If your machine is making a high-pitched squealing noise when in operation, it's likely that the jockey wheels have failed and they'll need replacing. Now, safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. The next thing I need to do is to remove the top of the appliance by undoing these three screws at the back. With the top removed, the next step is to take off the control panel, which is held in place by these two screws at the top. With the control panel out the way, I now need to remove the lower front panel. It simply pops off. Same with the door seal. And then I need to unscrew and remove the door. With the door out the way, I can now remove the front panel, held into place by eight screws. Two at the top, two at the bottom, and four that hold it into place in the center. Now all I have to do is to disconnect the two electrical connections that hold the lock into place on the front panel. Now that's out of the way, I now need to remove the fan that's behind this cover. So first I need to unscrew this cover. There's also a smaller cover covering the fan itself. Just pull that out. And now I need to remove the fan blade itself. I'm going to use an extension to access this. You may also need to hold the fan to unscrew the nut. With the nut loosened, you can Pull it and the washer out, pull out the fan itself, and there may well be another washer behind. So pull that out as well. And the next thing I need to do is to remove the upper surround. So we pull that out and twist it to bring it fully out. I next need to remove the front drum support. Making sure you release this electrical cable. Making sure that the control panel wires are out of the way. All you need to do to remove is to lift it up by a quarter of an inch before unhooking the top and lifting away. With that removed, I now need to remove the belt from the jockey wheels. And how I do that is I push one of the jockey wheels as far right as it'll go. It's spring activated. And then I can push the belt off the jockey wheel and do the same on the other side. And then pull the belt off the motor spindle. With the belt released, I still need to lift the drum out to access the jockey wheels. I do that by removing the heater panel and the heater at the back of the appliance. With the heater cover removed, I can now unscrew the heater, which is held in by these two screws.
with the heater out of the way, the only things that are holding the drum into position are these two screws that hold the bearing plate on the back of the drum to the rear of the cabinet. So I'm going to unscrew the bottom one first, and before unscrewing the top one, I'm going to take a hold of the belt to support the drum. With the screws out of the back, I'm now just going to let the drum drop into the machine, move the control panel out of the way, and then you can work the drum out through the front of the machine, making sure that you don't pinch the control panel wires. With the drum out of the way, I can now demonstrate to you using the new part, how to remove the jockey wheels from the appliance. They are held in place by a pivot at the bottom, a spring which keeps the two arms together, and they wrap around the motor spindle. So, to remove them from the appliance, push the jockey wheels to one side. The motor spindle will force this arm up and away from the pivot at the bottom. Pull it up a bit further so that it doesn't go back into position around the motor spindle. Do the same with the other arm, so rotating the jockey wheels to the other side, releasing the bottom of the arm from the pivot. You'll now have two jockey wheels and their arms wrapped around the motor spindle. Making sure that the wheels are at the bottom, you can then lift the arms, the wheels and the spring up and out. The next thing I need to do is to replace the spring that you can see in there from the old jockey wheels into the new jockey wheels. So grabbing a pair of pliers, lift the old spring out of position. But to get it into your new jockey wheels can be very difficult. So we have a top eSpares tip for you. Put the spring into position on one side, like so. Grab a short piece of wire, wrap around the top of the spring. Grab your other arm, feeding the wire through the hole. You can then lift the spring easily into position. before placing your new jockey wheels into the appliance. Just gonna push these wheels down and around the spindle. Twist both arms, making sure you don't trap the wires. Next, I'm gonna push this arm down so that it wraps around the pivot at the bottom. like so. I can then push both wheels to my left, forcing the other arm down to attach to the pivot. With the jockey wheels now in place, I'm ready to put the drum back into position. So I'll just move the control panel and the wires safely out of the way, so I can put the drum in. And it's worth noting that the heater hole in the back of the drum should line up with the heater hole at the back of the appliance. So once you're happy that the two holes are lined up to each other, you can then find your screw hole at the top of the drum. And while supporting the drum with the belt, I can re-screw the top screw to hold the drum into place. With the top screw in position, you can then re-screw the bottom screw before reattaching the heater.
with heater in place, make sure that the rubber grommet holding the cable is in position and also that the cable is lying as flat to the appliance as possible. And then you can reattach your heater cover. To refit the belt, make sure it's in position at the top of the drum. There should be a wear mark to help you position the belt, but it's a good idea to put it just in front of that to help you get it on the motor spindle. And then you can stretch the belt over the motor spindle and in place. With the belt in place around the motor spindle, I now need to reattach the front drum support, making sure that the drum is in the correct position. I can then attach the belt to the jockey wheels. Once the top two hooks are in place, lift the drum to get the bottom in position. I can now reattach the four bolts and the electrical connector. I can then push these wires back into the relevant holder, making sure they're nice and neat. And then I can fit the belt to the jockey wheels. Now, not only have I put the belt over the left-hand jockey wheel, I've also pushed the belt as far back onto the motor spindle as it'll go. And then, you can just rotate the drum and make sure the belt is aligned correctly. Then all I need to do is refit the fan, the front panels and the top of the appliance. When fitting the front panel, remember to reattach the door lock electrical connections. Now we're almost done. Just fit your control panel into place. And screw that together. And then all that's left to do is put the top on. So there we have it. New jockey wheels fitted to this Hoover tumble dryer. Spares for tumble dryers and other appliances can be found on the eSpares.co.uk website. Thanks for watching.